Hi, I'm Leela Kelly from Dosatron International and Dilution Solutions, and I'm coming to you today from the Dosatron family farm. And I wanted to go over an easy way for you to take the Dosatron and repurpose it so that it could not only do acid injection or fertilizer injection, but could actually fill these little handheld spray bottles that could be used for COVID-19 sanitation. It's super easy. The next step is how do we flush the Dosatron so we could use the Dosatron to fill up our compact pump-up sprayer. The Dosatron will automatically do that for you, but we've been injecting acid in this tank, or it could be fertilizer, doesn't really matter. So we have to take the Dosatron suction hose and strainer, and we're going to put it into a bucket of clear water. The reason for that is we want to suck up that clear water and flush out whatever's inside the injector so that we can start injecting whatever sanitation product we want to fill up the pump up sprayer. Turn on the Dostron and you can see that it automatically primes itself and starts to bring clear water up through the suction hose, flushes everything out of the Dosatron, and that and starts to fill that bucket. We're done, it's flushed. So now we have cleaned out the Dosatron. We've gotten rid of any chemistry in there. And now I'm gonna show you how you can use and repurpose this Dosatron from let's say doing fertilizer or acid injection to putting in a sanitizing product in our compact pump up sprayer. In order to do that, the first thing we want to do is release the pressure. Because when you pump this up with pressure, you'll never unscrew this top if you don't release that. So we're going to unscrew the top. And the one thing you want to remember is this little suction hose can come loose. So before you put it back into the tank, you want to make sure that you get it right up in that little orifice there and make sure it's snug. This way it's ready to go when you put it back into the filled container. Now we're ready to inject the Sanidate 5.0, which has been approved to kill the human coronavirus on surfaces. And so in order to do that, we're going to unscrew the container and we're going to direct inject this at one ounce to one gallon. The Dosatron will do that automatically because we're setting it at one to 128, which means one ounce will automatically be dosed into 128 ounces, which is one gallon. So you thread this suction hose here, always being careful to have protective gear on, now we're ready to dose our Sanidate 5.0 automatically with the Dosatron set at 1 to 128. So to do that, the first thing we have to do is prime the Dosatron suction hose and in through here with the Sanidate. Because right now, until we get that priming, we don't have the right dilution. So in order to do that, we have an outbound hose and we turn on the water slowly. <laughs> We can actually see that the Sanidate is going to be pulled up to the Dosatron. So you can get an idea when the Sanidate is actually coming through. So you know you're primed. We're getting there. Just about right. So you run that for a little while. Make sure everything is mixed inside. It's through the hoses so that you'll be ready to fill your pump up sprayer. Okay, we're ready now. The Dosatron is primed with the Sanidate 5.0 and we're gonna fill our little pump up portable sprayer. So the outbound hose, we're gonna turn this on slowly so we don't splash, but we're only gonna fill it three quarters of the way up because that's what the manufacturer directions state. Let's see, we got a little window there. We're just about there. Oh. <laughs> we went a little far. It's
it's okay. So now we have it filled up three quarters of the way with our product. It's already pre-mixed, pre-diluted. We're gonna screw the top on, making sure this is still in place. Nothing like a pair of gloves to keep your hands going. Okay, so we, it's snug, but not over snug. And we're not gonna over pump this. It says do it about 20, 25 times. I think it's the end. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now we're gonna pump this up until we get, oh, there we go. See how it, it's a little harder to pump? There we go. All right, so now we're ready to use our pump-up portable sprayer. 